Welcome to On The Move. If you look at the 10th Amendment, and it says delegated, and that, that begs a question. If powers were delegated to Congress and to the federal government, who were the people who delegated that to the federal government? Who delegated those 33 powers, and specifically about 17 or 18, in Article 1, Section 8, where it says what the federal government can and cannot do, who were the who who did that? I mean, it literally says delegated. Well, only a boss can delegate something to somebody. If mm-hmm. you don't have the authority to delegate to me, I don't have to do what you say. For instance, if I work for Walmart and the manager of Kmart wants to delegate something to me, obviously I'm not going to listen to him because I don't work for him. And it's the same thing with the federal government. They they don't have any authority, but if we start listening to them, they're going to do it. But who was it that delegated properly, lawfully, and constitutionally the powers that uh, the Tenth Amendment is talking about? Well, that was the original 13 states, and we the people. Mm-hmm. And so then you pretty much have to know, if you read and understand history, that that we did not, the states did not, the people did not, create a federal government, a new central government, that would be in charge of every facet of our lives. Quite the contrary. It says that uh, they only have, and you can read my Supreme Court decision, which bears this out and reinforces this principle of the Constitution, that the federal government only has discrete enumerated powers. And my decision is very emphatic in making sure that we all understand that the way we keep the federal government within its constitutional, discrete, and enumerated powers is that we must exercise and assert the Tenth Amendment. And then that begs the other question, who's in charge of enforcing the Tenth Amendment? And who's in charge of enforcing state sovereignty? And that goes right back again to we the people and the states who originally delegated to the federal government its powers. And if we delegate powers to them and they don't do them, we can certainly take them back and do them ourselves or delegate them to someone else because the boss can delegate to whomever he wants. And and so the federal government has one job and one job only, and, and that first and foremost is just as the Declaration of Independence says, quote, to secure these rights, governments are instituted among men. Well, which rights was it talking about? Life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. And the federal government has now taken over a role that was never theirs to to, to be in charge of, and that is to uh, make sure that we're all equal. Well, they're supposed to guarantee equal opportunity but not guarantee equality for each one of us, especially financial equality, which is exactly what uh, the communist in the White House is trying to do. And uh, the federal government has taken over a role that was never theirs, and we've got to take it back. I'll be in the right now, officer. Oh, let me see your ID. No, thank you. What's that? No, thank you. No, thank you? No, thank you. Okay, why are you saying no, thank you? I, I know it's my Fourth Amendment right. I don't have to show you my identification. And one of these books that I want to discuss is this book right here. It's called Founding Brothers. It's written by Joseph J. Ellis. And I really found this book to be really informative. It helped me out a great deal in understanding uh, the founding of this. It's really comfortable, too. That's one thing I really like about this bag is the comfort level of it. Um, But anyway, so let me move on here, and we'll start showing the back here, show the features. Uh, First thing first here, we got the front of it. 